a dramatic capture, the world's most wanted, most dangerous drug lord, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, back in Mexican custody tonight. Mexico's president announcing mission accomplished after a nearly six-month manhunt for the Sinaloa cartel chief. This is absolutely massive. It's of enormous importance for the Mexican government, in particular for Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto. I think when most Americans think of organized crime, they naturally think of guys like John Gotti, Al Capone. Uh, they pale in comparison to, uh, to Chapo Guzman. A Mexican official tells CNN, at 4.30 this morning, Mexican special forces closed in on one of El Chapo's houses in the city of Los Mochis, in his home state of Sinaloa. There was a shootout. Five people were killed, all on El Chapo's side. Six were arrested. A Mexican Marine was wounded. The official says El Chapo was actually captured at a nearby motel. At least one analyst surprised he was taken alive. El Chapo is a man who knows what the consequences of this are. He knows that there's a very high likelihood that he's going to be sent to the United States to go to jail there. He knows that there is probably no way out after this. So there's a very real risk that he wouldn't even accept being captured alive. Mexican officials say the drug lord had a lot of firepower near him. Captured in the raid, a rocket launcher, eight rifles, two armored vehicles. He's known to have traveled throughout Sinaloa, uh, oftentimes with a security force of as many as 150. El Chapo's escapes from Mexican prisons are legendary. He broke out of a high security prison in July through this elaborate tunnel. Prison officials were fired. Dozens of people were charged over that. Previously, El Chapo eluded police through a trap door hidden under his bathtub. This six-month search for him, a Mexican official tells us, extended into the United States. It involved tracking the movements of El Chapo's beauty queen wife, Emma Coronel, believed to be seen in these photos posted online. Now the Mexican government will be under enormous pressure to extradite the kingpin. The only way that the government of Mexico is going to ensure absolutely that they don't go through another embarrassing situation, another embarrassing escape, is to extradite him to the United States. And if that happens, El Chapo could be a valuable source for law enforcement. Former DEA Operations Chief Michael Braun tells us when El Chapo was captured in Mexico in the early 2000s, he sang like a canary, giving up a lot of information about rival cartels.